Don't get involved with them in any relationship kind of thing. So many things about my life. I'm just struggling to survive. Next year I got myself a wife. Yeah, I'm just struggling to survive. Too many things about my energy. Hey, what's up, my amazing viewers? My name is Daddy J, and guess what? I create, I educate, I entertain, as well as I inspire. So, if you're new to this channel, please kindly rush to the subscribe button and subscribe. If you are returning, mwah, mwah, mwah. thanks for always coming back. Like you keep me going. So, guys, today I'm back again with another educative. Not only educative, it's an amazing video for you guys who is planning to like teach English in China someday and I made a video some few days back about the things you should do as a foreign teacher in China as an English teacher in China so today I'm coming back with the things you should not do as a foreign or English teacher here in China if you don't do this thing then I bet with you you're gonna stay in your job site as long as you wish to stay so without waste of time let's ride on on the things you don't have to do as a foreign teacher here in China yeah so guys the first thing you should not do as an English teacher in a kindergarten in China is that don't be selective on the student yeah I'm gonna explain like I said in the video of um, things you should do I said that for the population of a school depends on how the kids likes the foreign teacher so you the foreign teacher you are the one responsible to bring more students in the school how does this work it works through propaganda like if the kids loves you they go home they tell their parents that what she had, Tony Lao Shi, what she had, Jagger Lao Shi, I like this teacher, I like this teacher. And that is how the parents are, re uh, are telling their own their fellow colleagues that there is a good teacher in this school. As such, many parents come to register uh, in this particular school. So if you're a foreign teacher, you need to keep all the students engaged in class. Where I come from, we used to believe that the dull students sit behind and the clever students sit in front, but here it's quite different, the mix, like, if you're giving high five to one kid, make sure you give it to all the other kids and all the like. There are cameras there looking at you. And if a parents discover that you are not making the kid to participate, you are not giving the kid high fives and all the like, the parents will turn to start complaining that my kid is not participating. You don't call my kid to answer questions as such. The parent is gonna withdraw the child from the school he said i'm gonna change the school of my child so you just need to make each and every child answer question in fact get all of the student engaged as a foreign teacher here in china so don't say oh this is my favorite student she answers question i'm gonna be calling her all the time no 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 it doesn't work like that here in china even the dullest student you need to make him or her answer questions while teaching english here in China yeah so guys the second thing you need to avoid doing as an English teacher in China is do not touch your phone while in class like it pisses them up I've been a victim to this there was a day that my phone was ringing I had an emergency message that I, I had to reply I was even struggling to reply the message but the kid the way they told their parents home that <laughs> I was touching my phone and that's how the parents complain to my boss and you know so don't touch your phone while teaching English here in China keep your phone aside until you finish teaching the class you understand yeah so avoid doing that if you avoid doing this you're gonna stay in your teaching position for as long as you went the third thing you have or you don't have to do as an English teacher in China is avoid late coming avoid late coming like the Chinese people respect time a lot so you don't have to disrespect time if work start at 8 you have to be in school by 7 30 so if you're planning to come and teach English in China in a kindergarten or training center or whatsoever always make sure you come early in most kindergarten you come before the student 
you go, you stand at the gate, you start welcoming the student. Hello, good morning, hi, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Very, very good. Every blessed morning you have to do that. Like, that's how the kids get engaged. Your parents who are coming to see off their kids in school, they see you doing that, they're happy as such. They're gonna be recommending many students in that school again, and that's how the boss of that school is gonna be hailing you and love you and, you know, so avoid coming late and the next point for the don't do in China as an English teacher is please there are many Chinese girls outside so avoid dating your Chinese teacher or your teaching assistant your TAs don't get involved with them in any relationship kind of thing it's gonna ruin your job like if the boss get to discover it's gonna be a big problem to you and some of these TAs these teaching assistants when you bring them such ideas they might even report you to the boss so don't do that there are many ladies outside you can go even on WeChat you add ladies you talk to them but as for your teaching assistant or your Chinese teacher please avoid doing that as a foreign teacher here in China yeah so the last but not the least point for the things that you should not do as a foreign teacher in China is that avoid doing anything that is gonna harm the kid please this point is very important like the kids are naughty sometimes you might be teaching you just see a kid who come up and hit you just like that but don't retaliate in any way don't hit back at the kid don't do anything harmful to the kid like the, in the next uh, uh, one hour you only see yourself in jail like the parents might have called you police and all the like I know many cases that many people have ended seeing themselves back in their country there is a case that a guy was even just playing with the kid playing games and his hand mistakenly hit the kid eye and that's how they had to call him police carry him and send him back home just like that there are cases that you have a long nail you are teaching and you mistakenly scratch the, your nail you want to give a child a high five your nail mistakenly touch the child that is a, a big problem you know I've seen a case that it was a friend like this teacher had the same name with a student that student this teacher was called Tony and a student was called Tony that uh, student who was called Tony had to mistakenly hit the friend and this particular friend had to go and report to the parents that it's Tony that hit me not knowing that the, he is referring to the student Tony but the parents had to call the teacher for him uh, they, they had to call the police for the teacher because his name was Tony too, they arrested him that's how things became complicated on him so you just have to avoid doing anything that is gonna cause any harm to the kid like you just need to develop that love for kid play with them, do everything necessary to keep them happy so guys this is the end of the video and I hope you did enjoy and it's gonna help one or two persons who are planning to come to China and even if you're not planning to come to China you might find yourself in China someday so guys thanks for watching I really really do appreciate if you haven't given a thumb up yet kindly do and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos once again my name is Daddy J and I create I entertain I inspire as I also do videos about China so I'm gonna see you in the next video Shalom